Assalamu alaikum. Now we have to do exercise 4. So first of all, we have to solve the first question. They are saying, for each of the following sequences, state a rule and then write down the next two terms. Okay? So first of all, we have come to part A. Then uh, it's for uh, the first. As so I already told you that all these numbers are called terms. Okay? So this number sequence in the first term, 14 is written. Then 19. Okay, tell me. Which number we have to add in 14 to get 19? Yes. Which number we have to add to get 19? Yes, 5. When we add 5 and 14, we will get 19. So I have to check it. I will also write it this for you. So you, have, you also check it. Okay. So before writing, a, 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 we have to write a rule for this. First of all, we have to check. Look here. Look here. 14 plus 5 and we will get 19. Okay. And when we have 19, in the second place, we have 19. So when we have to add nine, uh, 5 in 19, then what will my answer? When I have to add 19, my answer is yes, 24. Because when we have add 5 in 19, we will get 24. Okay. Now again, we have to check for the next term. Uh, after 24, uh, our answer is 24. So I, I now I have to ch check uh, uh, by writing 5 here. Okay. So just give me one minute. Look here. In this, according to this sequence, when we have to add 5 in all these terms, we will get the next term. Okay. But in sorry terms, when we add 5, ko add karenge, so we will get the next term. So, how we have to state a rule? Add 5 in each term. Okay? Uh, and we have to check it. Look here. 14 plus 5, what will be your answer? Look here. 14 plus 5. And what will be, will be your answer? Your answer is 19. Look here, look at this. It is 19. Now, in, now in the second place, we have to add 5 in 19. Because our answer is 19, so we have to add 5 in 19. 19 plus 5. 20, 21, 22, 23, 24. So what will be your answer? 24. Next term is 24. So now we have to add this 24 here with 5. Please add it. 24 plus 5, what will be your answer? 29. Very good. Okay. And in the next place, we have to add 5 in 29. And then we have to get, yes, 29 plus 5, 34. So answer is 34. Now, comes to this one. When we add 30, 5 in 34, then what will be our answer? Please add third, 5 in 34. Yes. So we will get 39. Okay. So uh, here they are saying write down the next two terms. So the next term is 39. And when we have to add 5 in 39. 39 में 1 add करें 40 and then 4, 44. So our, our answer is 39 and 44. This is part A. I think so. This one is clear. This one is clear to all of you. Very good. Very easy. A sequence is given to us and we have, we have to solve it easily. Okay. Now we move towards the next B part. Okay. Now we move towards B part. For B part, uh, this is the D part. Now, this one is B part, okay? The first term is 80, then 72. This means we have to subtract. 
विच नंबर आई हैव टू सब्ट्रैक्ट टू गेट 72 बेटा अगर 80 गिवन है और आपका आंसर 72 है तो अभी आपने कुछ चीज कोई चीज सब्ट्रैक्ट की है अब देखिए आप चेक करें कि 80 में से क्या सब्ट्रैक्ट करेंगे तो यू विल गेट 72 ओके सो आई आई विल राइट इट हियर फॉर यू वी हैव इनिशियली 80 एंड वी विल गेट 72 सो टेल मी कि व्हिच व्हिच थिंग वी हैव टू सब्ट्रैक्ट वी हैव टू सब्ट्रैक्ट व्हिच व्हिच नंबर आई हैव टू सब्ट्रैक्ट सपोज इफ आई सब्ट्रैक्ट 1 from 80 i will get 79 when i subtract 2 then i obviously i will get 78 so keep on uh, subtracting and when i have to subtract 8 i will get 72 okay now we i have to move towards the next now uh, i will get 72 so when i have to subtract 8 from 72 okay 72 minus 8 i will get 64 clear and in the next step Again, what shall I have to do? I have, my answer is 64. So 64 minus 8. So what will be your answer? 64 minus 8, it is equal to 56. Again, we come to the next point. We have 56 and we have to subtract 8 from 56. So we will get, yes, we will get 48. Clear? And from this, we come to our rule. And what is our rule? The rule is, Subtract 8 from each term. This is our rule. We have to subtract 8 from each term and, uh, and how uh, this uh, sequence works. Okay. Look here. 80 minus 8, we will get 72. 72 minus 8, we will get 64. 64 minus 56. We, uh, a minus 8, we will get 56. And 56 minus 8, we will get 48. Now, we have to write the next two terms. And here, the last term is 48. So, again, uh, we have to uh, do for the uh, same one. Look here. We have 48. So, 48 minus 8. So, tell her you tell me. Very easy. What will be your answer? 40. So, next term is 40. Okay. And when we have 40, and we have to subtract 8 from this 40. What will be your answer? 32. Very good. When we subtract 8 from 40, we will get 32. So this means uh, our next two terms are the first term is 40 and the next term is 32. This is part B. Now we come to the part C. So, according to Parsi, this rule is given 6, then 12, then 24. Look here. When we multiply 6 with 2, we will get 12. 12 2s are 24. 24 2s are 48. 48 2s are 96. And 96 2s are 192. This means how we have to state our rule? Multiply 2. Yes, please tell me multiply 2. to each term, okay? This is very much simple rule. Now we come to the next term. Then we have to multiply 2 with this, uh, the last number that is 192, okay? So multiply this and then uh, tell me the answer, please hurry up. 192 multiply with 2, you will get 384. What will be your answer? 384. Now comes to the next. Now 384 multiply by 2. Okay. We multiply by 2. So you will get 768. Clear? Clear to all? Okay. So I have to erase this. Before moving the D part, first of all, I have to erase this. Okay, now we move towards the next part. This one is D part. Look, look here. 1600, then 800, then 4. Gradually it decreased. And how it decreased? By dividing it by 2. Look here. 1600 divided by 2, 800. 800 divided by 2, 400. 
So uh, how we have to state our rule? I have to write it for you. First, I also want to change the color. Okay. How I have to state a rule? Then according to this rule, divide each term by two. Clear? Clear? Divide each term by two. Okay. The last term is 100. And when I have to divide it by two, what will be my answer? 50. And when I have to divide 50 by 2, what will my answer? 25. Clear? So I have to write the next two terms. 50 and then 25. This is part D. Very much easy. When we divide each term by 2, we will get the next. So the last one is 100. When you have to divide 100 with 2, you will get 50. And when you have to divide 50 with 2, you will get 25. Clear? Now we move towards the next question. That is E part in the first place negative sign is given minus one one thousand six thirty eight and then it is given four thousand ninety six then it is given look here in the first place it is given sixteen thousand sixteen thousand three hundred and sorry I, I I have to forget to write this the whole one it is. 16,000. Okay, I have to change the color. A white color is changed with red. Okay, with this one. Okay. Now we come to this. It is 16,384. When we have to divide it by 2, we will get this. And again, we have to divide it by 2, we will get this. Okay. But uh, you know, which 2 I have to divide? Minus 2. Look here, this minus sign is given. When you have to divide it by minus 2, so minus into minus plus. So next term is positive. Again, when positive multiply by negative, it is equal to minus. Again, negative into negative, we will get positive. Again, the last term is minus 64. Okay. So uh, you have to state a rule. Divide each term by minus 2. In order to get the next term, I have to divide each term by minus 2. Now, we want to get the next two terms. Okay, I, again, I will use the white color. I want the next two terms. The last one is minus 64. When I have to multiply, divide it by minus 2. So, minus into minus plus. This means our next term is sign plus. And and divided by 60, 64 divided by 2. Okay. So 2 3s are 6, 2 2s are 4. So our answer is 32. When again I have to multiply divided by minus 2. So plus into minus minus. And 32 divided by 2, you will get 16. Okay. So these are the next two plus 32 and minus 16. Clear. Now we move towards the next one. Look here in the first place 19 is given, then 18. Then 36. Look here. When we multiply this 9 with minus 2, we will get minus 18. When we have to multiply this 18 with minus 2. So minus into minus plus 18 to the 36. Same, same in so the same rule apply. Here we have to use negative sign. I have to change the color. Okay. Wait, I have the same color. Which rule we have to apply? Multiply. Each term by minus 2. Always remember minus 2. Okay. Multiply each term by minus 2. And when uh, how you have to get the next two terms? The last one is 144. Multiply it by minus. So plus into minus, minus. And 144, you have to multiply it with 2. 2 4 is 8, 2 4 is 8, 2 1 is 2. So it is equal to. 288. Okay. Now comes to next term. So minus into minus plus and plus into minus minus. Okay. The next term is uh, after 144 we are negative and after uh, 288 we will again we will get positive. Okay. So positive. 28 is 16. 
So 576, you have to write this. Okay. 288, ko, you have to multiply it by 2. 2 is 16. 2 is 16 plus 1, 17. 2, 2 is 4 plus 5. So it is equal to minus 288 and 576. These are the next two terms. Clear? So before moving towards the next one, so I have to erase this. Okay. Just okay. After e part, we move towards the next part. Okay, that is g part. But before doing the g part, first we have to solve the f part. Okay, f we have already done. Okay, okay, okay. Now we come to the g part. It is a turn of g part. Look here. So first I have to erase this. Now, <laughs> first I have to <laughs> state a minus 52, then minus 59, then minus 66. So, which number I have to add in all these terms? Okay, F 52 is given and you will get 59. So, you have to add 7. F in 59, you will uh, you add 7 here, you will get 66. 66, you have to add 7, you will get 73. In 73, when you have to add 7, you will get 80. Or 80, when you have to add 7, you will get 87. So, which will apply? Add 7. You have to write add 7 to each term. So, now we will get the next term that is 87. And this sign I have to place with this 87 negative sign. Again at 7 in 87, you will get 87 plus 7, 93, minus 93. So these are the next two terms. Minus 87 and minus 3. Comes to H part. The first place, minus 100, then minus 90. Next, minus 80, then minus 70, then minus 60. We have to, what shall we have to do in, with each term? 100, if you have to, uh, in minus 100, you have, if you have to add 10, plus 10, you will get minus 90, minus 90, plus 10, minus 80. So, keep on moving. So, uh, which here you have to write, add plus 10. To each term. You have to add plus 10 to each term. So I have to change the color. Okay. So 100 plus, uh, look here. I first I have to write it here for you. Look here. This one is minus 100. And then you have to add plus 10. Both have different signs, so you have to subtract the value. So 100 minus 10, you will get 90. And you have to place the sign of the greater number before this answer. So that is minus. Okay. Now we move towards the next part of this question. And that is minus 90 plus 10. Again, you have different values. So you have to subtract or you have to place the sign of the greater number. So it becomes minus 80. So keep on moving and here you will get minus 60. So when you have to uh, subtract minus 60 plus 10, you have different values. So you have to subtract 10 from this 60. You will get 60 plus 10. Both have the different signs. So you have to subtract the value. So 60 minus 10, it is equal to 50. And you have to place the sign of the greater number before the answer. So it is minus 50. Okay. And after minus 50, again, we, if I have to add in minus 50, if I have to add plus 10, I will get minus 40. So these are the next two terms also. Okay. So I have to erase all this. I do this rubber for, only for you. Okay. 
So first of all, I have to state a rule, add plus 10 to each term. So here I have to write the next two terms and that term, look here, minus 60 plus 10. Different signs are there, so we have to subtract the value. Always remember, we have to subtract 60, 10 from 60, so you will get minus 50. And from minus 50, if you have to add 10, minus 50 plus 10, different signs are there, so you have to subtract the value and place the sign of the greater number. So greater number is negative, so you have to place minus 40. So these are the next two terms, clear? Comes to the next point. Okay, but before coming to the next point, first of all, I have to erase this. And uh, just give me a few seconds better. Okay, now we move towards the next part of the question. And that is, this one is H part. And uh, obviously, this is the turn of I. Now, this one is the I part. 0, then 10, then 20, then 30. In all this term, we have to add 10, okay? We have to add 10 in all, in all of these terms. So, what is the rule you have to state here? Add 10. Plus then to each term. And you know that in mathematics, term mean number. Okay. And here we have to write the next two terms. Add 10 to each term. Look here 10, 20, 30. 30, when you have to add 10 and 30, you will get, yes, which you have to get, you will get 40. And when you have to add 10 in 40, you will get 50. And these are the next two terms. Clear? Now we move towards the J part. 52, after 52, you will have, you have 59, then 66, then you have 73. Look here, 52 and then you have you get 59. Which number you have to add here? 53, 54, 55, 56, 57, 58, and 59. You have to add 7 in all the terms, okay? 59 plus 7, 66, 66 plus 7, 73. So how you have to state a rule? You have to add... 7 in all these terms, okay? Add plus 7 in to each term. Now, the next point is you have to write the next two terms. Very easy. Look here. The last is 73. When you have to add 7, seven in 73, you will get plus, yes, 80. You will get plus 80 and then you have to add 7. Again, 7 in this 80, you will get 87. Clear? Very easy sum uh, part uh, J. Now we move towards the next part that is K. And I think so this one is the last part of question number 1 of exercise 4A. So according to this, the first is 4, then 12, then 36. Okay. Which number you have to multiply with 4, you will get 12. Beta 4 ke table mein 12 ka baat hai? 3 times. So 4, 3 times 12. And 12, 3 times 36. The next term, how we have to obtain? By multiplying 36 with 3. Okay? So uh, here you have to state the rule. Multiply each term by 3. How we have to get the next term? By multiplying each term by 3. So our last term is 36. So I have to multiply 36 with 3. Okay. Wait. Just I have to do it for you. 36 multiply by 3 and you will get 108. Very good. Again multiply 108 with 3. Hurry up. Multiply 108 with 3 and you will get 324. Is it clear? How do you have to find the rule? By seeing this number sequence. 4, then 12. This means you have to multiply 4 with, 12, with 3. You will get 12. 12, 3 is a 36. 36, 3 is a 108. And 108, 3 is a 324. Is it clear? Clear to all? Very good. And after 324, which, which number we will get? Because we have to write the next two terms. So 324 multiply by 3. You will get 972. So these, uh, the next two values are 
372. Clear to all? This is all about question number one. Now we move towards the next question. But before moving towards the next question, first I have to erase this. So give me a few seconds. Okay, now we move towards the next question. Oh, this one is part D. First, we have to do part A of this question. Okay. This is question number two. They are saying, write down next two terms. Here, you just write down the next term. But obviously, we know before writing next two terms, first of all, we have to state a rule. And after stating a rule, we, we are able to write the next terms. Okay? So, first of all, I have to write the... Obviously, they don't say, say to you, okay, you have to write the rule, but it is compulsory that you first, you have to... If you don't want to write it, you just keep in mind you have to think it over okay, which rule is applied here. The first term is minus 6. Okay, I have to write it here for you. The first term is minus 6. And which number you have to add, you will get minus 5. Obviously, uh, the sign of the bigger number is minus. So, this means you have to add any other number. So, which number you have to add? So, oh, let's uh, start with 1. Okay. When you have to add 1 in minus 6, you will get minus 5. Yes, it is true. Now we move towards the next part. First term is minus 6, then minus 5. And after minus 5, you have minus 3. This means minus 5. And you will get the answer. It is equal to minus 3. So which number you have to add here, you will get minus 3. Obviously, you have to add plus 2. So look at the sequence which is used here. It is uh, quite different from the that we have done in question number one. Look here. First, we have to add one. Then we have to add two. And in the third place, we have to add three. Look here. In the third place, which number is written here? Minus three. Minus three. Okay. And what will be our answer? Our answer is zero. How we will get zero if we have minus three? Obviously, we have to add plus three. Here in minus three, we will get zero. Look at the sequence. First, you have to write 1, then 2, then 3. Now, which number you have to write in the next place? Hurry up, tell me which number you have to write. After 3, which number comes? 4. So, you have to write here plus 4. Look here. Look at the sequence. 1, 2, 3, 4. So, when you have to add 4, you will get 4. Now, next. After 4, Which number I have to ha add here? Look here. First, I have to add 1, then 2, then 3, then 4. It is a turn of 5. So, 5 plus 4, what will be your answer? It is 9. Okay. Now, comes to the next. Plus 9 is our answer. Which number I have to add? Look here. First, I have to add 1, then 2, then 3, then 4, then 5. And now, I have to add, yes, 6. So, uh, 9 plus 6, what will be my answer? Plus 15. Very good. So, the next two terms are 9 and 15. Clear to all? Okay. So, I have to remove all that because we don't require all this procedure. I all, uh, only done for you. Okay. For your convenience. So, first I have to write the rule for you. And that rule is First, you have to add plus 1. Then, you have to add plus 2. Then, you have to add plus 3. And these dots mean and so on. Plus 3, then plus 4, then plus 5. So, you so on, you have to move it. Okay? So, plus 4. And you have to add here. In this, I still remember, you have to add plus 5. So, it becomes plus 9. And obviously, in 9, you have to add 6. So, 9 plus 6, what will be your answer? 15. 
So these are the next two terms of part A of question number two. So first of all, I have to erase one from the screen because I want that you or you done these sums by yourself. If this idea is clear to you, you can easily write it. Okay. Now we move towards the next part. 47, after 47, you will get 30. At 38, you will get 30. Okay. So I have to write, uh, first I have to write which rule we have to apply. Very easy. Look here. Look at, at this rough work. First term is 47. Okay. And the next term is 38. Obviously, we have to subtract something. You get 38. It is understood we have to subtract something. Which number we have to subtract? First of all, we have to subtract 1. When I have to subtract 1 from 47, I will get 46, not 38. So, so which number I have to subtract from 47 to get 38? Okay, I have to subtract 9. When I have to subtract 9 from 47, I will get 38. Yeah, it is correct. So, first place I have to subtract 9. Now, comes to the next number. That is 38. So, from 38, which number I have to subtract to get 30? I want. Okay, I want 30. So, I, I, it is very much easy. From 38, I have to subtract 8. So, I will get 30. Very good. Now, comes to the next. The next number is 30. And I have to subtract Okay, look at the sequence. First, I have to subtract 9, then 8. Now, it is a term, term of 7. So, 30 minus 7, I will get 23. Very good. Okay, after uh, here, I have to write 23. Okay, look here. First, I have to subtract 9, then 8, then 7. Now, it is a term of 6. So, 23 minus 6, I will get 17. Am I right? 23 minus 6, can I get 70? Yes, of course. I will get 70. Okay. Now we come to the next because here they need next two terms. So when, uh, okay, first I have to write it for you. Look here. First I have to subtract 9, then 8, then 7, then 6. Now it is the turn of 5. So 17 minus 5, I will get minus 12. Sorry, sorry, sorry. I will get plus 12. Because the greater number has positive sign, so I will get plus 12. Again, plus 12. And after 5, which number I have to straight 4? So I will get plus 8. Clear? So here I have to write the next two terms. And the next two terms are 12, plus 12. And plus, yes, it is written here, 8. Clear? So, I have to, first of all, I have to state a rule also. Subtract. This number I have to spread in the first place, minus 9, then minus 8, then minus 7. And then keep on doing this. Decreasing one uh, one number from each step and you will get the next term. Clear? This is part C. No, no. This one is the part P. So, I have to write it here. The next term is plus 12 and the next one is plus 8. And here I have to write the rule also. Which rule? Subtract. First, you have to subtract minus 9, then minus 8, then minus 7, and then so on. This is the rule of this part B. So, I have to erase and uh, rest one. I have to erase the rest because I have wrongly written here. It is part C, not part B. Okay. Now, we come to part. The next part, that is C. Okay. Very easy. Minus 50, minus 45, minus. Okay. You have to do the rough work first. First, I have minus 50 and my answer is minus 45. So, this means different sign are used. If minus 50 is given, so here I have to write plus. Okay. Because I want to subtract. Because 45 
50 from 50 i will get 45 by adding 5 okay yes by adding 5 i will get this for minus 45 i have to put the sign of the greater number next one is minus 45 and my answer is look at the next term minus 45 and next term is minus 44 so if which number i have to add add it here plus 1 look here 45 and i want to get 44 so which number i have to add why i have to add because if different signs are given so we have to subtract agar same sign given honge to phir to hum usko add karenge to 45 ke sath minus ka sign hai 1 ke sath plus ka sign hai to hum in values ko kya karenge subtract karenge so 45 mein se 1 subtract kiya to kya aa gaya 44 okay now we come to the next ab dekhiye pehle apne plus 5 kiya phir plus 1 kiya ab next jo mere paas hai wo hai minus 44 aur jo mere paas answer hai wo hai 39 again idhar maine kya kiya plus 5 kiya tabhi mere paas aaya na minus 39 okay aur next pe maine kya kiya minus 39 mein kya maine add kiya ki mere paas 38 aaya hai to maine plus 1 kiya hai to i will get minus 38. Is it clear? Um, ab dekhe, pehle 5 plus kiya, phir 1, phir 5 plus, phir 1. Ab kiski turn hai? Again 5 kiya, so I will write minus 38. Here I have to write plus 5. So here, 30, man, uh, greater ka sign lagai minus and it is equal to 33. Ab one, uh, plus, ki, uh, plus 1 ki turn hai? So minus 33 plus 1 Okay, different signs are there. So you have to subtract and you will place a sign of the greater number and your answer is 32. So next two terms terms are minus 33, minus 33 and the next is minus 32. And here I have to state a rule. Add. plus 5 and plus 1 and alternate terms. Okay? Plus 5 or plus 1 come alternate terms we have add add. Okay? So this is the rule. So it is clear. Which rule I have to apply? First I have to add plus 5, then I have to add plus 1, then plus 5, then plus 1, then plus 5, and then plus 1. So 38 plus 5, 33, and then plus 1, so 32. It, is it clear? Clear to all? Very good. Now, and last two uh, parts are only left over. So we come to that parts. I think so these are so much easier question. And this is clear to all of you. Okay. But still, if you have confusion, you can ask. These are the last two parts. D part 198.95. Okay. Now, look, we, we are, again, we have to look the uh, which rule is applied here because it, it is, again, quite interesting sum. Look here. The first place, which number is given 100? And your answer is 98. So, uh, you have to separate uh, from 100. Which number you have to spread to get 98? I have to subtract 2. Obviously, uh, from 100, if I subtract 2, I will get 98. The next place, 98 is given. And in the answer, you have 95 though. So, this means if I subtract 2 from 98, I will get 96. So, this means I have to subtract 3 from 98 and I will get 95. Okay. Comes to the next. So, I have 95 and my answer is 93. Look at the sequence. 198, 95, 93. So, if I subtract 3 from 95, I will get 92. So, I don't subtract 3. I will subtract 2. And when I have to subtract 2, it becomes 93. Very good. Now, look here. First, I subtract 2, then subtract 3, then subtract 2. And then, again, it is a turn of 3. So, 93 minus 3. I will get Yes, you will get 90. Comes to the next 90. Or 90 is 2. 
90 minus 2, so you will get 88 and from 88. Yeah. Now it is a turn of 2. No, it is a turn of 3. So you have to multiply, subtract it and you will get 85. I think so. The number sequence are clear to all of you. So next two terms are, look here. I have to write it here. 88 and the next is 85. And which rule I have to apply? I have to write it for you. Add. First you have to add minus 2. And then you have to add minus 3 in alternate position. Alternate position or alternate terms. We are using the word terms. Okay. I think so. This is very much easier. So we have to complete it. Exercise 4A, question number 1 and 2. And I think so. Very much easier sums. And uh, no problem at all. So Allah Hafiz.